So now let's work around with blend mode and transparency. And to make it more clear, I'm going to import another picture uh, over here in, from my computer. So for that, I'm going to go around to add image right here. And then I'm going to click on browse and then select any image of my choice. And I'm going to click on add to current so it gets added right over here. So this is free by default, as you can see, it's not locked. Only the first image is there as a background. So usually it's locked because that's the one you start with. So over here, you can see that I got two layers. So now I got this layer selected. So I'm going to go over here into arrange. So you can get the same setting from over here as well. Okay, as we saw in the previous lesson. So you got the blending mode over here and you got the transparency settings right over here. So let's work around with the transparency first. So transparency, if I were to squeeze it down, you can see that you can see through the top layer as you can see. So this does not work if the visible layer is on top, but if the top layer is transparent, uh, transparent you can see that it is actually a see-through so as if you're seeing through a glass or something right over here if you want to create such effect you can use the transparency settings right over here as you can see so you can have multiple transparencies as well of the other object as well and that's how you work around with the transparency settings right over here that's set to it uh, the same setting is available from over here as well the other option you have is the blending mode so this is uh, an interesting way to give effects to your pictures. So you can see that the first one is multiply. So what that does is it actually, uh, uh, it actually uh, darkens out the colors. For example, you can see right over here that the bright colors are see-through while the black colors are not. So it actually adds it up like an ink right over here so that it actually uh, merges out with the picture below, as you can see right here. So let's go around here onto screen. So screen is opposite right over here. So it makes the dark colors transparent, as you can see right here. So the dark colors are transparent while the bright colors are seen as if you're signing a light onto a picture. So it uh, gets that effect accordingly. Overlay is similar. Uh, um, in the sense over here, as you can see, so it's similar to a light, but a bit darker in nature. That's darkened, which is uh, which darkens out the image, as you can see. So it uh, actually mixes up the colors to give this type of an effect. You can also use transparency to change the intensity of the uh, effect that is being applied, as you can see right here. So you got lighten, which is again like dark colors. They are transparent while bright colors are not, but you get different effect as you can see right here. Similarly, there's color doors, there's color burn, there's hard light right over here, there's soft light. There's difference right over here, which actually makes the picture look like a negative right over there. There's exclusion hue right over here. You can change the transparency as well over there. You can use saturation, color, and even luminosity, as you can see right over here. So these are the different options available. I can also go over here and then uh, hide this out and I can work around with the background as well. So I can go around here, work around with the blending mode so it actually blends out with the background just like this. So you can have effects like these, as you can see right here, you can work around with the transparency and everything else. So that is how you can work around with the blending mode and transparency options inside of Pixlr X. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.